אז זה כל מקצוע. הוא מאוד ייחודי, הכשרה ייחודית. זה רמת קופאים עם אלמנטים שבעצם מהווים מכשול אחרים. All right, y'all, welcome to the Comodorum channel. Okay, so today we're checking out something from the Agilite YouTube channel, and this is all about the Israeli Masada Special Forces units. Now, I don't know too much about this unit. I have heard about it when I was over in Israel, um, but I don't know exactly what they're used for. Looking at the title, it says, uh, I don't know, they break into prisons, which sounds like a pretty niche, but also a really interesting sort of mission set. Now, I know Masada comes up a lot in Israel. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but I know when I was there, we visited this old like mountaintop fortress that was called Masada that was like sieged by the Romans. Um, so pretty interesting stories from that. And then I know the Israeli weapon industries also has a pistol called the Masada, but yeah, I'm not sure what it means. So if you guys could help translate, I'd appreciate it. But it looks like it's going to be a good video. I know Agilite does some pretty solid coverage of these Israeli units. So should be cool. Let's check it out. פה יש משהו שונה בלחימה. אומייגאש, זה סו קול. תופס משמעות פיזית, הוא יודע שהוא פה והוא שומר לי על הגב, אותו דבר קצת שמאל. אני נכנס פה לתוך תא עם שמונה מחבלים עכשיו. וואו, אוקיי, דוד, יש הרבה מה קורה בזה. וכאילו, זה דבר כזה קול. דוד, וזה מתחיל כמעט פריקן שטרייט. יש משהו שונה בלחימה. המשפט כתף אל כתף, תופס משמעות פיזית. אני לא חושב שהוא פה והוא שומר לי על הגב, אותו דבר קצת שמאל. אני נכנס פה לתוך תא עם שמונה מחבלים עכשיו. אם אתה לא תסמוך עליו, לא תרוץ קדימה, ופה כולם רוצים קדימה, כי הם סומכים. זה יוצר אחוות לוחמים פה, וחבר לנשק, מה שנקרא, אחלה נשק, כי כולם ביחד. הלוחם לא יכול בלי התמיכה שלו מה... אה, דוד, זה כל כך קול. הם שילדים, בשביל זה, אני רואה את זה. חבר לנשק, מה שנקרא, אחלה נשק. דוד, אבל זה מונקיס? כי כולם ביחד. הלוחם לא יכול בלי התמיכה שלו מאחורה, הוא מבין את זה, ואותו דבר הפוך. כולם פה לאותה מטרה בסוף. דאם, דוד. Their gear has... יחידה בעצם אחת מתוך ארבע יחידות מטכליות, יחידות עילית של השייכות במדינה, שמתעסקות בהשתלטות, חילוץ בני ערובה, ונותנת מענה באמת באירועי קיצון, החל מהתפרעויות, הפרות סדר מאוד קיצוניות של אסירים, מעצרים של מוקשים באיו"ש. Yeah, so this is what I kind of remember hearing about them. They would like go into the West Bank in these really dangerous areas, but they would like do it like super stealthy and just like roll people up. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of terrifying to think, you know, these guys might just... break into your house when you're sleeping or something and then that's it they just bag you avad asirin bebricha isuf modin be'etzem migvan yekholot rachav be'etem la'yomim od pam gam barama alomet gam barama ergun nice mask rov batay kele ba'olam ashok makirim v'tazkim ba'chorot seder v'sham anetzar ha'yekholet shalem oh yeah they have some oh dude that's a cool shot right there like again i love those ballistic shields they just i don't know they just look They look really cool for one, um, but it looks like you can use it pretty effectively, like fit a pistol through some of the small gaps so you're not like exposing a little bit more of yourself. But yeah, of course you guys already know I'm a huge fan of those gas masks as well. But this, like this is the cool stuff. So yeah, when I was in Israel, we got to work a little bit with the uh, their monkeys, which are like these really high speed repelling dudes. Like they'll go off of the roof, they'll jump down. And they'll like immediately land at like the the perfect window height so they can like swing right in. Yeah, it's it's pretty high speed, I gotta say. Yeah, that device right there makes it really easy. Nice right there. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, and their kit is insane. If you have a lot of weapons, you can use these weapons to get to the time of the attack. Many times they come to learn to understand להבין בעצם איך הם מתמודדים. Makes sense. לא פעם, פעמיים, הם באו יחידות כאלה או אחרות, ראו את הפיתוחים פה ובעצם פיתחו אותם שם בהמשך. Yep. יחידת מצדה, כמו שאמרתי, עצמאית לגמרי, מנושא הדיכוי הפרוץ ועד החילוץ, עם כל היכולות בעצם אינאוס. אז זה כל מקצוע, <laughs> מאוד ייחודי. Yeah, that was a, a really interesting thing with Israel. Like, if they didn't have the specific technology or sort of equipment for the specific role or mission that they were trying to go into, Like, because they were always like developing kind of like niche tactics, but they would also develop gear that was specifically for that specific mission or that new sort of tactic that they were trying to develop. Like I know when we were there, the terror tunnels were kind of a, a big focus. And again, they had like their own gear focused for that, like their own like ballistic shield setups and whatnot. And yeah, it was, it was pretty gnarly to see. <laughs> Dude, I want that grip module so bad. It's like two or two. And every attack that won't be in the middle, you'll be able to do it. It's a team of a lot more difficult. You have to have a very good 
ואם אני לא יודע לפרוץ את המבנה, אני אגרום יותר נזק מאשר בעצם המטרה. לוחם מצדה שונה בתכליתו במהות שלו מלוחם רגיל. כי מה שמתמודד הלוחם במתארים כמו שלנו, באירועים עצמם, זה מה שהרבה יותר מורכב. מיגון שהוא הרבה יותר גבוה, אוכלוסייה שהיא הרבה יותר מאיימת. בנוסף לזה אין ספק שגם הלוחמים שלנו פה הם בכושר לחימה מאוד גבוה. רוב המתארים שלנו זה תחת גז, זאת אומרת לחימה הם... דאם, אוקיי. הם טרנים מאוד פריקן חד, אז הם יכולים להגיד... Were those elevation masks that they're running in? Uh, possibly. And then you got the dude dragging the sled with the gas mask. Dude, if you ever want to like be on the verge of feeling like you're about to have like a panic attack, just try and do anything really strenuous with a gas mask on because you're trying to get that oxygen as, you know, as quick as you can. And normally you would be able to get that, but with the gas mask, yeah, you're really just fighting not to pass out. <laughs> You just need to be able to like call upon that violence very quickly. Uh, and that's pretty much what Krav Maga is all about. Just being violent very, very quickly to kind of put yourself in a better position or just disable that person a little bit quicker. And the violence and everything and the violence and the violence is going to be able to do it. And because the only thing is that you have to do it in the same way, 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 לתת המענה באמת המיטבי בהתאם לסיטואציה. כי לבוא ולהרוג זה האופציה הראשונה. עצור שנייה אחת. האם אני יכול רק לנטרל אותו? התוצאה של מוות בקצה יכול להשליך ברמה הלאומית, הבינלאומית, ולכן אני לא חושב לעשות את זה, אבל לפני זה אני מעשה את כל התהליכים והאמצעים שלנו ברמת הלוחם כמובן. מרמת קרב מגע... אה, זה יגיע, קרב מגע. דאם, אוקיי, זה שוט רייט דייר, זה כל כך. Yeah, again, this was something, so I was a hearse master at the time when we went to Israel, so like I was the helicopter inserts and extract kind of master. And when I saw like one, their rope bags, just like really smart, especially like having a rope, like kind of going outside of the helicopter like that gets the pilot a little bit on edge, especially if they're not used to doing that so much. So the ro rope bag helps with that. And of course it just helped with kind of controlling that rope a little bit better. But this thing right here, like their grip kind of repel module. So if you would squeeze it, you would repel. If you squeeze it too hard, like, you know, if you started like freaking out or I don't know, something happened. If you squeeze it too hard, you break. And if you let go of it, you would break as well. So it was really easy to like control the descent. And again, like for something like this, especially if you're going, you know, from a roof into a window, makes it a lot easier to be able to control it. And especially when you're trying to go hands-free with one of your hands so you can use it for your pistol. Yeah, pretty solid. ובסוף גם נהרי חי. הלוחם יודע להשליך את הניסיון שהוא צובר במטרי הכליאה למעצר מבוקשים באיוש, והיכולת להתאים כל אמצעי אמל"ח בהתאם למשימה הספציפית. המילה ורסטילי פה היא... זה הידרולי ברייצ'ר, זה סוף כמו. לוחם עוד פעם מילון נשק 2, יש לי פה לוחמים מגוון רחב של אמצעים ונשקים, אבל זה בעצם הגדולה של הלוחם, לקחת את כל המגוון אמצעים ומדעת מתי להשתמש בו. הוא יודע מה הגבולות שלו, מה האמצעים שמאושרים לו, הוא פשוט ירוץ קדימה. They have like every capability they need. There's something that's in every soldier. There's something that's in every soldier. What's the meaning? You're the soldier, you're the soldier. You're the soldier, you're the soldier. But to raise it into a soldier, as I said, it's very difficult, very difficult, that the soldier of the soldier is the soldier. I need one soldier who knows that he's the soldier. Yeah, no doubt. 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 Yeah, no to, you know, go into the room, to have your back, to not like leave you in a room by yourself, to kind of pick up on that slack, be a free thinker, and just make sure like you're covering each other's asses. Because if you're not, then it's going to get super sketchy. 
uh, and it's going to make things very problematic if you know you, you don't have that trust inside that team. And it also helps just if you're kind of used to working with them, you can flow a lot better. You can do things without actually communicating them, and you kind of understand how everybody else operates. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> ‫המשפט,כתף-אל-כתף,איפה <laughs> 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 אומרים משפחתי בדרך כלל, כולם גדלו ביחד, התחתנו ביחד, התמקצעו ביחד. והם עדיין פה אומר לכל מיני ראשוני, וכל אלה שבעצם הצטרפו על הדרך. וזה יוצר באמת אווירה משפחתית וכימיה, כמו שאמרתי, שמשפיעה על הכימיה המקצועית. Dude, that was clean. אין אצלנו ביחידה את חייל חובה, שלא אחד מהלבל של המשפחה הזאת. כי כולם ביחד. הלוחם לא יכול בלי התמיכה שלו מאחורה, הוא מבין את זה, ואותו דבר הפוך. כולם פה לאותה מטרה בסוף. ולוחם שגדל פה רוכש משפחה ואחרי זה מקצוע. אוקיי. אוו, דאם, their logo is actually freaking sick too. Yeah, what he said, I gotta say, well said. I mean, you kind of see this a lot with special forces units is you kind of understand that you guys are all in like a common operating picture because you've all kind of struggled together just to be able to get into the units. Um, you all train together, you all get like really... common ground just going through the training going through all that suck together and you know if you can get through that really crappy stuff together when you actually go on mission you can definitely rely on each other a little bit better because you know that it's it's been worse at one point uh it's been tougher at one point and again that training really just instills all that confidence in the team again we've seen a lot of special forces units on the channel but i gotta say israeli special forces always have like a specific role that they fill pretty freaking well but they're also just generally like pretty versatile like their equipment is very solid very set up for like a wide range of things you can see here they have like a lot of really nice sort of CQB weapons as far as like the shotguns and the, the M4s or what have you. But then they also have like the nice long range sniper rifles to be able to support those guys. And then of course, like their specific insert methods as far as like the repel and, and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy to see how many special forces units there are in Israel, but it's also really crazy to see that they're all like really versatile, but they also kind of fit like very specific roles. And it's kind of interesting to see all that. But yeah, it's always really awesome to check out. Again, it was another solid video from Agilite. They have a lot of really good insight into these Israeli Special Forces units. And I guess it makes sense since they basically design all of the really solid kit for these guys. And it's all like pretty well proven as well. So you know that they're getting a lot of that experience and you know being able to cycle that back into the technology that's going to go back into the unit. Because again, they really do a pretty good job of... you know, developing this equipment and changing and adapting this equipment to fit whatever sort of role that they're going into. But yeah, solid video. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other experience with this unit or any other knowledge, or if you have any specific operations where these guys were kind of like a, a big, played a big role in it, then let me know. Throw it down in the comment section so I can go and check it out. Might not do a reaction to it, but I'd like to check it out anyway. But of course, I got to say a big thank you to everybody who has been sending me all the patches because like this one... I got pretty recently, which was super freaking cool because it's got like the uh, the MP5 on it. And I saw it in like the, the video and I was like, dude, that's like one of the coolest patches I've ever seen. So I'm really excited to have that one up on the wall. We have some more from Varsteleka from the 20th anniversary. We have some of the new channel patches, which I need to see if I need to, if I can put that on the store or what have you, because those are pretty cool. I'll probably do a community post, hopefully if I remember it at some point. But yeah, those are exciting. And then, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. So even though we have two patch walls now, like they're getting pretty full already. So I do appreciate you guys sending those over because 
They're always like super cool to see, always super cool to get in the mail. And if you guys want, like I'll trade patches all day because I do still have a lot of patches from like the army. I have like some rank and stuff from the Marines. So if you guys do want to trade, I can do that as well. But of course, if you guys just want to send it, then I'm more than happy to receive it. I'll have my PO box down in the description if you guys want to send some stuff. But I do appreciate it because it's just, it's cool to just kind of see it grow over the years. And it's kind of cool to see all the different kinds of fans out there. So I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for enjoying the, the content and kind of letting me know down in the comment section. Thank you for the awesome recommendations. Because even if you're not subscribed, if you can recommend something down below and we can kind of check that out, it kind of increases our community reach, if that makes sense. But again, it also increases our sort of education on all these different sort of military units or military history. And yeah, it's just, it's really fascinating stuff. And I gotta say, I've used a lot of the knowledge that I got from these videos just in like my normal day-to-day -day military career because I can reference stuff a little bit quicker when we're talking about specific countries or specific units. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to think that I can get all that knowledge just from doing reaction videos and having fun with it. So yeah, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Of course, if you guys are not subscribed, definitely feel free to hit that subscribe button or you know, you could just hit that, that like button or just comment and let me know what you think. I, I appreciate it. But thank you guys for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.